Hello, my name is Andrew and welcome in the second part of Boost test, unit test. And in the last part we fin we have finished on in on organizing the test cases into suits and now I'd like to tell you I would I would like to show you the next example. Okay, so this is it. Uh, so here are the, the necessary uh, heat headers and and the define macros and in the first line we've got the structure which named my picture uh, as you can see we can uh, here is the pointer in the public section and we are uh, allocating the memory for it and uh, initializing the value of this pointer to zero and we've got also the, the structure and after that we've got the, um, the two test cases the first and test case is a little bit different because uh, after a uh, after a space we've got um, my picture uh, which is the, this is the name of our structure and as you can see in this uh, test case we only checking if the value of this pointer is equal to zero without creating an object of my picture structure we are checking this uh, value and it's working. I will show you uh, uh, one minute ago and one uh, after one minute. Uh, and here we've got the second test case, which name is test case, the second, and we are creating an object and we are do doing nothing. So maybe now I will com compile it and run it. Okay, we are running two test cases. Uh, we are entering to Test use pictures, pictures. Uh, entering test case, test case first, living. We are checking. So without creating an object, we are checking if the value of this pointer is equal to zero, as I said you earlier. And we are enter entering to test case the second, and we've got some additional information or something like warning because uh, we did not check any assertions, so we got this info. And we are leaving the test case and we are leaving the test suite picture. Nowhere is detected because everything is okay. And what's more about this example? We can uh, do uh, when we, for example, make this. It will be okay. Nowhere is detected. But if we, for example, com command this. And run it once again. We'll, we will have some error. Uh, maybe we got this. Okay. okay. Error, but it's if because I uh, was not declared in this code. We we haven't got some, uh, any information about I about this pointer. Here we define or uh, that that we are using the my um, structure of my picture. And we can check the point in the value of this. But we, uh, uh, if we do this here, we've got an error. So, uh, of course, we can um, create an object here and uh, check if it is equal to. Maybe we'll uh, make some mistake, for example, uh, 60. And we will have some. Errors, but only connected with uh, asserting. So we have got one, uh, two test cases. We've got one failure detected in test suite. We've got one failure because here we are equaling the value of the i uh, from the object of f. It's not equal to uh, to 60. It's equal to zero. But we've got only a uh, test case uh, error, not with uh, not okay. And uh, uh, and what we've got, uh, what we can see, what we can do more with this uh, examples. For example, we can uh, uncommand it. Uncommanded and without creating an object here, and 
uh, here we can equal or uh, we can uh, check if the value of uh, the pointer of e is uh, is equal to zero. And now we haven't got any error in the array here. And we've got no error detected because uh, here we are starting test suite and we are ending the, our test suite. And we are uh, so here we defining uh, we are um, writing the name of structure my picture. And uh, you can test um, it with some other ways by your by your own. Um, I think that that's all for this uh, example. And now I will show you the second example, the next example. Uh, which I copy from my uh, reference, which I prepared uh, earlier. So here we can see the uh, next example. Uh, as you can see, uh, here is the boost up test case. And subtract test. Mm, it's not this name. Maybe test. Or, or test. Okay. And so. Uh, here, here we can see that uh, the boost libraries uh, has got some uh, additional uh, checker. Uh, for example, boost require GE is equal to greater equal. Okay. Uh, boost warn message it's uh, incorrect value when it's incorrect. And some both uh, require equal, so we are required that these two integers will be exactly the same. So if we recompile it and we run it, we have got some errors. Well, no, no errors, but failed uh, test cases because the fatal error, critical check, it's uh, two. This integer is not equal to to, to one. We are um, as we are expecting. Now we haven't got some kind of an error. No errors detected. And I will show you some more uh, there here. Um, here we can see uh, some more uh, examples. Some more. Uh, Checkers. Uh, for example, here's got uh, uh, greater equal. Here's less than, uh, no true, and some examples. So you can look into this. Here's the uh, an address. Both origin, and you can uh, read this by your own. Uh, okay. Now I'd like to sh uh, show you the next example. Mm. And here is it. Uh, uh, here, here we are defining some, some functions. Let's say first, second, third, and fourth. Uh, it's a normal function. Uh, but here it's a little bit different than normal program. Uh, we are creating and test suite uh, a pointer to the test suite first. Uh, we are uh, creating defining the name of this uh, test suite, test suite the first. And here we've got the test second test suite, and defining the name test suite the second. And we are adding to this this test suite. Uh, the first test case and the second test case, boost test case. And the second test suite, we are adding the third test case and fourth test case. And after all, we uh, adding the test suite into the master test suite. And we are running it. So it's a little bit different you know, than uh, the previous examples, but I hope, uh, I think that it's quite uh, easy. As previous examples, and when you run it, mm -hmm. so. and 
Vamos. It's quite dark. Maybe at yes, uh, first. So now we've got some logs on, on this uh, test here, test case. We are running test case, four test cases because we are added two test cases. One, two, three, three, one, one, two, three, and four. Uh, so we are running and we are entering test suite, uh, master test suite. Okay, master test suite. Uh, entering, entering, leaving test case. Test did not ch check any assertions because here's the the body of this test case. Uh, exactly the same is uh, with the next uh, test cases. And after all, we are leaving the test suite. On the official website, you can see the diagram of this test suite. Uh, as you can see in the code, uh, here we've got uh, here we've got master test suite, and here is the master test suite, which is the uh, header, uh, the master, mm -hmm. and uh, this master test suite uh, includes two test suites, the first and the second. So here we've got the master test uh, the test suite is the first and the second, and these test suites, for example, the first uh, include test case the first and the second so we add here the test case first and the test case second so first and second and after all we got uh, the second test suite which includes the test case first and fourth so we add here the third and fourth uh, test case so that's all and i think that that's all for this uh, for the in the second part of uh, post unit test and uh, I hope that it was quite easy to understand. Uh, and uh, if you've got some questions, uh, ask me in the comments. And uh, so that's all. Uh, goodbye.